Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa, here for another Fix Your City in the city of Mungdal, sent in by Robbie Baby. It is quite a nice looking city. I do like the design of this city. And you've mentioned particularly in your write-up that you want this area over here fixed. Because if you look at the traffic... Well, you would say, actually, first of all, that the traffic isn't too bad. But you've sent the city to me with despawning turned on. Ah, I've yet to turn despawning off to see what's going on. But already I can see a few problems that are hitting up this area here. Quick, don't poke your eye out with this building here. Flopping it. So we're going to have a look at that. And you can see over here, look, really backing up, causing problems. We're going to take a look at that. And then you've got these big roundabout areas. Look at the size of this roundabout. It goes all the way around there. You've got another one over here that goes all the way around. And there's a few things I want to fix up with these. Before we get started, let's just have a look at the traffic. It's 70% at the moment. Before I do that, I want to take a look at this roundabout. Because you do actually get some traffic in a few places. Sort of, I mean, it's not much, but backing up a little bit. And then as you can see, look, stopping the, how it works and all that sort of thing. It's happening there. If we go along here, there you go. Cars coming on there and coming on there. So if we just have a look at what you've done. If we take this little tool here, the priority signs. This is the traffic manager tool, by the way. And you've done stop signs coming on rather than give way signs. Um, at every single one of these roads, there's we've, yeah stop sign there. All the way around, stop sign. So I'm going to change that. We're going to hold shift. You can really get a good outline of how big this roundabout is. Look at that. Hold shift and click. Ping. And that is now going to give us giveaway signs instead of stop signs. So things will move a teeny tiny bit quicker. But then also you've got the lane management here as well. So for instance, I mean roads like this, you don't need a massive big road like this. I would even have this coming up here. I would have that as one lane coming up. One lane coming on. And then you can do a bit of lane mathematics down here. I'd have one lane coming down here as well. So you've got one lane going each way. And then when it gets down here, we don't want people turning around. You know, coming down there and going back up there. So we'll just do that to make sure they go straight on. That's fine. And then you can do a little bit of lane mathematics. So where... You, I mean, you've sort of joined up your lanes. But these guys could keep moving out if you did some lane mathematics. They wouldn't have to stop. So let's take a look at that. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay. And then is it back to one, two, three, four, five, six? You've got it back to six. You've already done it. Well, you can solve this problem here. Look, all you've got to do is this. Have that to there. And then tell these guys up here where to go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Everybody's got a lane. They're all happy doing that. And now you don't need the giveaway sign. You can just say... Keep on going, keep on going. And they will not stop. And they will not get in each other's way. Look how smooth that is in that junction there. And then they come along here and they go back to different lanes again. So, again, you've got this double lane. Look at this. Look at this all the way back here. You don't need that. Okay, let's do the same here then. You don't need that going into two lanes here. Let's keep that as one lane all the way up to help solve the problem. Let us pick... I'm going to use the net picker here. We're going to keep this going along here. Bish bash. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, actually, do you know what? No. Tell a lie. I'm going to downgrade that one to five lane. Let's just downgrade that like you had it. So five lanes. Then it can go to six lane here. There we go. So we've got... Excellent, we'll do that. So then we can do the same thing here as well with these. And now they're not going to get in each other's way. So if we have a look at that, we'll get rid of that and say, go through, go through. All right, apart from that police car, just ignores all the rules. There we go. And they will start going through, which will mean this down here is all going to start. Let's just speed that up. That is all going to get out. Absolutely no problem at all. Look at that. It was backed up all the way down there. And the same here again. You've got... Three lanes coming up. Do not need three lanes coming up. That is just absolute overkill. So we're going to do that. There we go. And then hopefully we've still got the same lane thing going on here. There we go. No more hawky balky lane switching there because look, all this backlog has gone. That's going through. So, I mean, you could do that in all these different places here. You just, you just don't need these massive big 
two lanes to three lanes just get one lane get them to come out and anywhere that it causes an issue let's just follow this along so there's okay there's okay see again this one here to, look it's all backing up down here yes yeah, so we want one lane coming out up here one lane one lane that's perfectly fine and then what you could do here is a bit of lane management and say look we've got two lanes coming up here we'll have you go in there and we'll have that one go in there so that sorts out those guys and then when they come up here we want them to go in and you, it looks like you've already done come on i want that tool it looks like you've already got the lane mathematics worked out it's just the lane management that you haven't done so one two three i think we're gonna have extra lanes here we are so i'll tell you what we're gonna do here actually is we're gonna downgrade this from one two three four five six to five because we don't need that many extra lanes that'll be this one there we go don't use extra lanes if you don't need them because then it just makes there we go look, everything else is back to five it just makes it all very complicated to deal with so let us hook this up and let's see i'm going to just pause the game a second and we're going to see how quickly this little backlog that we've got down here look it goes all the way down there let's see how quickly look at that all cleared up all cleared up no problem at all so let's continually follow this up here it's fine it's fine it's fine again another one here let's sort this one there we go another one sorted excellent and then it won't be long before all that goes underground there i do like this extra big roundabout very nice oh another one here let's do that one See, this one here, you can do some lane mathematics. You've got six lanes here. One goes off. So let's downgrade that to five. There we go. And then we'll, when one comes back on again, it will go back up to six again. There we go. And another one sorted out. Fantastic. Let's follow this round here. Yeah, that's sort of slowing down and getting in each other's way there. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Oh, you've already done it there. Excellent. Let's just do the giveaway. Oh, you've done it all. You've done it all. Are we back round to where we started again? We might be. What's going on here? I moved this road back from connecting up there to back here. And I've taken away all the lane management that we did. Look, there we go. Just got this one where that road comes in and that one where the road comes in. I did do some better lane mathematics because you've got one, two, three, four, five lanes. One goes off, down to four. One comes back in, back to five. One comes back in again, back to six. Then it just goes down to six. One goes off, that, you know, and we carried on like that. And it's actually made this section run much much better we're at 76 percent well let's go and take a quick look over at the actual area that you wanted me to fix dead zone and there's a couple of little spots i think we can take a look at let's look let's take a look at this here so you've got all these guys coming down here and they're just stopping because i would imagine that you've set up this road through here as a main road you have so you put give way on all these ones coming on you've got some going up some going down in fact, you've got those two coming down. Up, 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 up. So you've got lots of roads going up. And only that one coming down at the end. So that's probably why there's so many cars coming down here. But we could be able to sort of sort this out and try and keep it moving. You've got three lanes going that direction. Hmm. Could we up that with some extra lanes? So how about four lane one way it's the same size and you've got asymmetrical roads here but you've got all these different directions to go so we're going to turn that into that one there sorry cars there we go so you've got two lanes in each direction now and then uh, two lanes to choose the direction i should say and then what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool here to change the lane arrows and say oh that is so small on 4k well i've got that one selected to go right and I've got that one selected to go straight on, but not right. <laughs> you probably can't see that unless you've got the best eyeballs in the business. And that should then just keep this traffic going. And then this one here actually could probably go back to what it was before, which was this one. So you have two straight on. Let's get that lane arrow thing again. One turning right, two straight on, and that will fix that. And that will just keep these guys going. 
Oh, it's changed the thing. Did I not turn that off and straight on? I didn't. I want one light, one straight on. That is what I want. And that will just keep that going nicely. And hopefully, let's just put our giveaway signs back on there. There we go. Well, I did accidentally despawn a lot of the cars by making the road face the wrong way. But I don't think that will be a problem anymore. And then if we just sort of move along here to the other end, there's this sort of nubbins going on. Which I think, again, is going to be a little bit of lane hawky borkiness so we've got left right and straight on but this lane's been used for more than one thing which game doesn't like that so we're gonna oh there is no left ah because it's one way roads again so we... i'll tell you what we're gonna do is we're gonna make those two straight on and that one right to try and spread out the cars a bit and then as it's so busy i'm gonna say no lane switch in there Mm, no lane switch in there and then I'm going to turn that off and we're going to say when you come in there you can pick your lane so once they get up here they're using all three lanes and then they can just go and then I'm just wondering whether because these are all giving way which is causing a heck of a problem if we do it this way because that is like the first road going up see where are they all coming in for this, for this direction. They're all coming in up here. They're hitting there. And then they're all coming down here. and go. See, this should be a roundabout. But you did particularly say you've done this area with no roundabouts. Crisscrossy roads. Trying something completely different. But I'm going to put in traffic lights. Let's stick in some traffic lights. And just watch this for a few seconds. There we go. If we do that. And see how it goes. All right, that's not too bad. I just want to change this lane here. So let's grab our lane tool again. We've got a lot of people that want to go left. So I'm going to make that lane left, that lane left, and this one straight on. Just to sort of use up the other extra lanes we've got there. But then what we're getting is people stopping here. And I want to sort of just see what they're doing. They're like all cutting across. So then come down here and go straight on. Oh, look at that. It's The traffic's gone down already. I'm sitting here talking about it, and it's absolutely fine. And these are sort of doing a bit of a hawky-borky something. Let's just say, look, you guys can go straight through without stopping. I think that's okay, you know. We've solved that with a traffic light in instead of a traffic light out. And I think that will probably be okay. Yeah, 75%. We're going to leave that one at that. I think why not? And you do have transport set up. 1,229 per week on your buses. 6,357 a week on your... Is this Metro? It is Metro. I suddenly thought it was trains. Ah. So you've got Metro lines all over the place. Couple in there. So that is not too shabby at all. That is not too shabby. So let's just have a quick look around. Have we got any other areas that are red that we could maybe help with? Don't forget, red doesn't always necessarily mean traffic. It just means roads are busy. All right, this little thing here. What have we got going on? All right, not enough lanes here. Look, one lane coming down. So there's nothing wrong with having one lane coming off. But when you get to the end, I mean, I don't know whether you drive or not. That's the thing. But have a little think about how a junction would be set up there. You would have the option of having maybe different lanes like that. So one lane for right, one lane for left, one lane for straight on. And that's fine leaving it just one there. And they'll pick their lane. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> he was a bit confused. He was like, I don't know what's going on. Look. <laughs> what stupidness is that? I'll tell you what that is. Is they pick their destination way back here. Because I've changed the road. They're a bit confused. But they'll get it in the end anyway. So we've got different options for them to go there. And then let's just have a look coming in over here. What have we got? One going in, one coming out. I imagine you've got some lane management. I'll just take that away. I've seen that in a few places, which is a bit odd. And you've got that one there. I mean, you could make this one of your little asymmetric roads. Like that. So there we go. Now we've got a lane for each direction and one coming out, which will go straight up there. So that shouldn't be too bad. You're still going to have a lot of cars stopping because you've got things like that. This is almost like a main road here around the outside. And you've still got them stopping at the different farms and getting in each other's way. Not much you can do with that. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to change all your roads because I like these sort of dirt tracks for your farms as well. I think they look fine. So we'll leave those like they are. We're not going to we're not going to mess with those. 
So you've got some toll booths that you put in your city as well to try and make some extra money. Perfectly fine. I would up the speed on these. I've got to be honest. Going from the national speed limit, which in if it was in this country, that would be 70 down to 20 is a bit nuts. I mean, maybe up that to 50 just along there. Just, you know, maybe a little bit more reasonable. You could put it higher if you wanted, but that just might keep that moving a little bit better. And then you've got this area over here you haven't given a name to. Another gigantic roundabout. This is the city of the world's largest roundabout. Getting pretty busy in here as well. This road down here is sort of causing an issue. Lots of people stopping. I can see people crossing the road there. And some are going across up there. Sort of getting in each other's way. So let's just have a quick look at your road layout here. So you've got them coming down here. A lot of them are crossing over up there. And then they're going up there and going over here. So they're going straight down there, which is a little bit weird. I mean, something like this for your obvious main road through the middle. I would pick this small four lane road for something like this. I know it's going to remove your trees, but it suddenly adds in a whole load of extra lanes. And that is like your biggest road uh that's one way i won't change that that's one way i won't change that that's like so you've got like extra lanes now for turning right and for turning left and that will probably as well come with a speed boost going down there so let's have a quick look so that's 50 the off shoot roads are 40 so more cars are going to stick to this you're going to have more lanes when people are stopping to get off and get in the train station so they're not going to get in the way what have you got there your hospital so already that is probably going to free that up a little bit have you got any weird lane management going on here that i don't know about no but this bit over here is cleared up look it's cleared up already look that's fine and then what i would do as well is i'd also make it a main road by if i hold shift yeah, there we go. So all the roads coming on and now giving way. I'm just going to follow this to the end. Because I don't want those giving way there. I want that going through, going through. And let's just follow that to the other end. Yeah, you can just go through. So that should help as well. Keep the main section going. And then the little side streets, they can wait. And hopefully that will start clearing up and look a lot better. So this is one of those situations where... Because I know, as I'm sure you've pointed out in the comments, I did mention this at the, video, uh, at the beginning of the video, where I've left despawning turned on. That is how you gave me the city. I've left it like that. If I turned it off, this city would grind to its knees. I can tell you that straight away. And to fix it would mean rebuilding the city, which I don't want to do because you have a lovely designed city here. I like the way you've laid it out. And if you're working with despawning off, that is fine. But it still helps to go around and fix a few little hotspots as and when you see them like things like this why is that a problem i think you've done lane management there yeah you have it's just the fact that they're slowing down so you're never going to get this figure much higher than it is because they're slowing down for the corners do you know what you could actually do if you use the if you do that so now they don't have to slow down as much <laughs> eventually that won't be as red so little things like that and there was another little corner here that i spotted that was having a bit of an issue that i was just going to quickly fix here it is the museum section over here is a very busy road but look everything's moving everything this is stopping here they're getting in each other's way there's not much traffic there this bit's quite yeah see look these are you've got no lane management going on here you have got lane management going on there i take it back they didn't seem to be paying attention to it but they are this little thing here sort of getting crossing over getting in each other's way what i would do with that is they've got plenty of places to go is i would just say look you can only go straight on you can go that way and then you can go that way then if they want to go in they can turn around somewhere else come back and go out yeah Stops that problem. All right, found another little area here. This road, you've got all these lanes coming up to this junction, all these lanes coming down to this junction, and all these lanes coming down to this junction. They all want to go up this way, which to me, a little bit of bad planning. I would at least have this road going the other way. Don't have, if you're going to do one way roads, go one way and the other way. Don't have two whack each other <laughs> smack bang in the middle like that. Uh, and what I did as well was a little bit of lane management down here. I said, look. You can turn and go up there, and you can turn and go there. Those two can take that lane. So now all three of these lanes are being fed into by a different lane. No lane switching in the middle, which I've done. 
And then up here on the junction, I've said you can pick the lane you want to go into. And then what I'm going to do is put traffic lights on there. <gasps> Two traffic lights in an episode. What is the world coming to? And then if we just keep an eye on that for a minute or two, we'll see these cars here will start going down. Look at that. That's not too bad at all. So the lights change. There we go. These cars go here, which haven't really backed up at all. And these are just the bog standard traffic lights. No times traffic lights needed. And then they go. So that has worked out really, really well. And there's a couple of other spots you could do something similar as well. Some see people ask me when are traffic lights good, and sometimes situations like that are when traffic lights are good. So there we go. We just fixed the world's biggest roundabout in inverted commas that I've ever seen in City Skylines. What do you reckon? If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed it as well. If you want to send your fix, uh, your city in to be fixed, there's a link in the description below to a form that you need to fill in. And I'm going to say thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.